Now to the state of our wallet. New Jersey is about to end its moratorium on utility shutoffs. That deadline is coming up next week. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is in Camden with the very important information you need to know. Good evening, Howard. Even to you, Yuki, you know, New Jersey, they did extend their moratorium multiple times, but that's not expected to happen again beyond next week. However, the good news is, is that there is help available. The gasoline's high, your electric high, your food's high, you have a family, you know what I mean? Like, it's real rough. Times are getting rough on your wallet, and they could be getting rougher once New Jersey lifts its moratorium on utility payments. We met Gilroy Campbell paying his bill at South Jersey Gas in Atlantic City. It's like you got to do what you got to do, man. You know what I mean? No matter what the gas is, to live comfortable, you have to pay. South Jersey Gas, like other utility companies in the tri state region, has options available as bills are coming due. Marissa Traveline is the vice president of customer experience. She says the most important thing you can do is ask for help if you need it. Right now, there are more energy assistance dollars available than ever before. You can have a household income of up to $128,000 and still qualify for some form of assistance. Assistance available includes grants, repayment assistance, and tools to help lower your energy consumption. Both Delaware where in Pennsylvania's moratoriums have expired. PICO is still offering Philadelphia customers assistance. We're in the business of providing utility service, so we do not like to terminate service. PICO and South Jersey Gas both said the federal low-income home energy assistance program, or LIHEAP, can help lower costs. Up to $1,500 in grants are available per household. People don't know, and that's why we want them to know that, hey, you can't pay your bill, we probably have a program for you. That could even include paying in installments like your credit card. That's what Campbell did. Well, my bill was only uh, $234 and I paid $100 on it. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So just to keep them off your back, you throw them something. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, that gentleman was laughing, but utility companies say that paying in installments can be very effective in staying on top of your bills. Now, you, in addition to contacting your utility company, you can also contact your state for help with state grants and also federal grants. We have links to that on our website, cbsphilly.com. Live in Camden, Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Appreciate it, Howard. Thank you.